Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I've had the birthday midlife crisis for maybe around five, six years now. And what that consists of is every single year, I just look at my wardrobe and I'm like, I hate it, hate it. I always end up giving away half of my clothes or putting them on vintage because I just, I don't really feel like it's me anymore. I don't, I just don't know why I do it, but I always feel like August is a really good time for a wardrobe reset for me. I'm coming to you today with a massive Zara haul. It's the heaviest fucking box I've ever picked up in my entire life. So I ordered 800 pounds worth of stuff from Zara. A lot of it I did order in multiple sizes, so I haven't literally spent 800 pounds. Um, but I just thought like, I want a good opportunity to have a lot of staples in my wardrobe coming into autumn, winter, you know, just seeing out the last couple of weeks of summer. So yeah, let's crack on. The first thing that I picked up and probably the thing that I'm most excited about is this oversized blazer. Zara have actually had this for years and years and years. So this is like not I don't think anything here really is new in. It's all stuff that I've kind of had in my basket for a while. I think that Zara blazers are really good quality. You know, I've tried a lot of blazers from different brands and they just feel a bit thin and flimsy. Compared to how thick and long lasting I'd say Zara blazers are. So we've got some nice padded shoulders. And which size is this? So this is a small, um, I am a stupid fucking idiot because I've bought two smalls. I think I wanted to buy the extra small and the small just to see how oversized it is, but apparently we're just rocking with the small. So, um, that's great. I, I know that I will keep this in a staple for my wardrobe for a long, long, long time, um, I love the colour of this. I think it will go with absolutely everything. I think it's the perfect sort of size for me to be able to wear it oversized, you know, maybe as a dress, but also to throw on, on top of things. Right, I've just come for simplicity with this fit because realistically, this is probably how I'm going to be wearing it the most throughout autumn, winter. Just styled this with a bodysuit, tried various leggings and my new balance i love this blazer um like i've already said the quality of it is incredible it feels really nice it looks really nice it's like it looks a nice material as well um i hate about all of the blazers in my wardrobe and the reason i don't wear them that much is because they crease all the time because they wear a little bit cheaper they're not as good material they just they they constantly crease and it irritates the life out of me but i feel like this is going to be really really hard to crease because it's so thick i think i already knew before i even tried this on that i was 110 percent going to keep it because i know that i'll get a lot of use out of this not even just for this year but for many 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 years 50 pound is such a small price to pay for something that's going to last in your wardrobe forever so yeah i am more than happy to invest in this blazer it's staying so picked up another blazer and i had immediate regrets when i did this because this one cost 90 pound this one is like a wraparound blazer like i can say that 50 pound is a fair price for a blazer but 90 i just don't know i really love these style of blazers but I haven't yet found one that doesn't completely, you know, like wash me out and drown me and make me look like a tiny, shapeless human being. We'll give it a try because I don't have a good quality white blazer. Um, when it came to doing my wardrobe clear out this year, I haven't really got rid of as much stuff as I would usually because I think my wardrobe now is less sort of trend based and more sort of everyday pieces um so the only things I've got rid of really are things that like I just I don't find myself reaching for one of the things that I find myself replacing are blazers so I did have a lot of blazers but they're just not the best quality so what I'm 
kind of doing here really is upgrading and just getting more long lasting sustainable pieces one of those things that i do need is a white blazer so i wanted an excuse to hate this so so badly just because i can't bring myself to spend 90 pound on a blazer but it is actually one of the nicest quality blazers that i think i've ever tried on in my entire life gonna be honest i'm not like 10 out of 10 in love with it like it is nice but is it, is it there's just something about me in white blazers that i don't quite like about the same about every time that i've tried to wear a white blazer like this i think it looks fine over the shoulder but when i have like one with an ob belt that ties up I just don't love it. This is a really nice quality blazer dress if you are in the market looking for one. I just don't think it is for me. To be honest with you, I think I have kind of set this blazer dress up to fail because I knew that I didn't want to keep it because it was ridiculously expensive. Um, but I'm not. I think I'm going to send this back. It doesn't strike me as something that i'm immediately wanting to go out and wear if it was the same price as the other blazer then i would probably be a little more inclined to keep it yeah i'm looking at myself in the mirror and it is a bit of a power move so no i think i'm i think i'm going to be sensible and i'm going to send it back we also grabbed these two basic dresses so i've picked this up in black Oh, pick these up in black and white. I think these are just a really sort of simple, sophisticated fit. Something just simple like this is just, it's classic. I mean, you can wear it for any occasion. But whether this is going to be a bit too big for me, they only do this in a small, a medium, or a large. Um, and typically in Zara with dresses, I like to buy an extra small. I do feel like this is going to catfish me a little bit. I feel, I feel like it's going to be one of those things that I look at and I think, yeah, this looks absolutely huge. But then I'm going to put it on and it's going to be the most figure-hugging, beautiful dress ever. The quality of them looks like it would be very hard to damage you know it doesn't look like something that's going to fall apart or disintegrate within a couple of washes i just think it's a very good staple to have in your wardrobe and i currently don't actually have anything like this these are 19.99 um and i mean the quality for that price is actually really really good um so i mean i would want them to be long lasting and not to bubble for the material to stay the way that it is now but for £20, if it's a staple for a year or two, I'm not going to be too mad. I said that I thought these dresses were going to surprise me, and they really have. This fits like a dream, and this is something that I'm actually excited to style and go out and wear. I just think it's so... It's so basic, but it just looks so nice. I think I will say it is a little see-through at the front but I do feel that like this is the kind of material that you could probably get away with wearing maybe a thin bra underneath so I'm going to say that I'm going to keep these um I know that I probably say I'm going to get a lot of use out of them and theoretically in my head that is absolutely correct I can picture so many different ways in my head to style these I'm just not sure if I'll get round to it, but if I ever do, they're always there for emergency. A classic, a classic emergency that we never ever have. Next thing I grabbed is this bandeau, um, which I mean, I, I suppose I can consider this a staple. Um, I was shopping in Zara with my dad a couple of weeks ago and we saw this on the rack, it was like the last one. He told me to get it but I just I wasn't really too sure at the time. But then you know when you leave something in a clothing store and like the whole journey home you're just thinking about that outfit. If I was driving that day I think I probably would have gone back and got it but my dad was driving and I didn't want to let dad come and turn back around and go to Zara. So I just ordered it online. I absolutely adore this top 
Um, I think for autumn, winter, I was kind of picturing in my head that this is more of an autumn winter top, but I do feel like this is kind of an all year round thing, just depending on how you style it. it will go with so much in my wardrobe. I'm just a little bit obsessed with it. Um, and I'm really sorry for doubting you. I wasn't so sure around this top until I put these cargoes on and now I'm conflicted. So the top itself, it doesn't fit like that nicely. It's a bit baggy and loose. It doesn't really do anything for your figure. It looks a lot better if you tuck it in. So now I'm just like, I'm a bit, I don't really know what to do <laughs> realistically with the fit being the way that it is. I'm probably not gonna wear it that much, relying on other pieces to save the fit of it to make it look better when this is supposed to be the main event. I mean, I like this as an outfit, yeah, but do I like it enough to keep the top? No, I think I might hang on to this one too and just see how I feel because I did really, really want to love it, but at the moment, I'm just not loving it so much. Some of you guys may have seen this doing the rounds on TikTok earlier this year. When I looked at this earlier this year, I don't know what it was. I think it might have been just because we were sort of heading into spring, summer, that I thought, I kind of love it, but I don't want to buy it. But now we're heading into autumn, winter, I usually do wear trench coats quite a lot. I just feel like they're such a good addition to an outfit um, that ordinarily would be, you know, quite plain and boring. I just felt like you put a trench coat on top of it, you immediately look sophisticated. You look cool, you look really, really well put together. The one thing that I don't have is a cropped trench. So I finally caved and got it. This has literally been in my basket since about February this year. This one is... This one is more expensive than any of the long trench coats that I have. So this is £60. <laughs> and I feel like I've just changed my entire mind on it. I'll see how I feel again, but... Am I ready to part with £60 for half a coat? I don't know. I just put this jacket on, I spoke for a solid five minutes and then I realised that I wasn't recording. So that's fun. I cannot believe I've just done that. I never do, I never do that. Never. I feel like I do like this jacket, but I don't love it. I just don't think that I'm going to get enough use out of it to justify paying £60 for it. I think what I might do instead, so I've got three trench coats in my wardrobe currently. I've got this one, this one and this one. I might do, I might sacrifice one of them to give them the chop and see how that turns out. Now I've tried this on, I really do want a crap trench coat but this one, it's just not it for me. I always do this, I always say things about my outfits and then I look in the mirror and I'm just like oh but it is really nice. If I'm, if I'm trying to be practical here, I don't think I'm going to wear it that much. So I'm going to send this back. I picked up another two basic dresses. So these ones are maxis. We've got this black one here and then there's a low scoop back on it, which I love. The side, ah, sides are ruched, which I think is just going to give a really gorgeous flattering fit. And then I also picked it up in khaki because I couldn't decide which colour I preferred. I think if we're talking staples, black is the more obvious choice for a staple. But I really love greens and green tones and I can't imagine a future where I don't. I don't want to imagine a future where I don't. I just really, really like them. Um, so I had to get them. Again, are uh, 19 .99. I just feel like things at Zara are priced so bizarrely like how do we have half a coat for 60 pound but an entire maxi dress for 20 I just i don't look at the price of anything on zara until it actually arrives i just put it all into my basket checkout and then when it comes i'm like why the why the fuck did i spend that money like 
Why did I buy that? It's the Black Maxi. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure that I'm obsessed with it. I like it. Don't get me wrong, it's a plain black maxi dress. I think the back adds a lot to it for me because I love like a low scoop back. But I don't know, I'm just not sold. It's a very stretchy material. Like one thing I hate about maxi dresses, you know when it's like really fitted around the ankles and you have to walk like this because you just can't move your legs. This dress is not like that, like you've got a lot of stride. It's a nice material, it's a nice fit, but there's just something about it that's not there for me. I picked both of these up in a small because that was the smallest size they had. I think maybe if there was an excess and it was a little bit more of a bandage fit, I would maybe love it a bit more. It is a lovely fit, but there's just something that's missing for me. There's something that I'm not looking at it and thinking this is sensational. I need to keep it, I need to wear it immediately. I'm just looking at it and I'm thinking, eh. I think I'm gonna just keep it anyway because to be honest with you, I do like it. I like it, I just don't love it. And this is why I end up needing wardrobe clear outs when I approach birthdays every year because I do this all the time. I don't love it, but I'll keep it just in case of emergency. That emergency never comes and then my wardrobes and my drawers are all overflowing with clothes that have still got the tags on <sighs> this theme is just like so on brand for couldn't decide what color i wanted it in so i got it in both but i picked up some of the thin strapped basic bodysuits now i've got these in the um the thicker strap and when i say to you they're the most comfortable things that i own i get so so much use out of those bodysuits. I thought I would try out the thin strapped ones. So I've picked this up in white and I've also picked it up in the bluey grey colour. I just feel like when you find a brand that does bodysuits that you like, and I am so particular for the quality of my bodysuits, I will go and buy every single colour because to me that is like my comfort item you can style a bodysuit however you want and it's never going to be a bad thing to have in your wardrobe it was quite tempted with my birthday money to buy a couple more skims bodysuits but i'm not rich enough to be buying skims to be sitting around the house in them do you know what i mean i'll buy them to go out in and the black one that i own i love it so much but these ones from Zara, so these are £16 and the Skims bodysuits are 60 So, I mean, you can literally get three of these for what you could pay for one Skims. Owning both, I know these are not shapewear, but the material and the fit of these, it gives you somewhat the same sucking in effect. I just love these bodysuits and... I literally, I could sit here and talk about these bodysuits for the next 50 minutes, but it's a bodysuit, what more can we say? I already knew pre-trying this bodysuit on that I was not going to be disappointed, and I'm 100% correct. I mean, I don't really have a lot to say because it is just a plain bodysuit, but I rave about these to anybody that asks. I wouldn't say that it's exactly the same material as this one. It feels a little bit more silky, whereas this one, there's more of a sort of cotton blend to it. It's exactly the same type of fit, but this one actually maybe feels a bit nicer, a bit more long lasting. I just love a spaghetti strap. Um, so yeah, these bodysuits are definitely both staying. Um, and I'm so excited about them. It's always the little things, isn't it, that you just get the most excited about. But no, I love this bodysuit. I love it. If you watch my last Sarah haul, yes, I'm absolutely doing it to myself again. I do not have a good quality pair of jeans that fit me 100% the way that I would like them to. I do feel like a lot of my jeans used to fit me quite well. 
but I don't know whether I've lost weight, like a considerable amount of weight because just none of them seem to fit me at the moment. So I'm still on the hunt for a good pair of staple jeans. I've just picked up these mom jeans. These are like the perfect colour for me. I am very particular on the colour of my denims. I can either go for like a really sort of light blue wash, but this is the absolute darkest blue that I will go. Something I hate about ordering jeans online is sometimes you get catfish by the colour and then they come and you're like, what? I didn't order that. I've picked these up in a four and a six because I think the four that I tried on last time, I literally couldn't even do the zip up. But then I see people say that they've got all different sizes of jeans from Zara and every single pair are different. So it's just like, the sizing is very inconsistent, but I just want one pair of jeans to work for me. I'm gonna, let's do this now, actually. I mean, I'm still gonna try them on, but I don't know if you guys have seen the hat that if you put a pair of jeans around your neck like let me move my hair out of the way so i'm not cheating basically if you put a pair of jeans around your neck and they touch then they're supposed to fit you so um if we're going with that rule the four are absolutely out is that touching I think I'm gonna try on the six first and then we can work backwards if the six is too big, but I'm not feeling optimistic. Guys, I finally managed to get a Zara pair of jeans that fit. This is the size six that I've tried on. Usually all of my jeans are a four and they're too big for me. So problems with the size in here, but these actually fit perfectly. So there's no like, gaping room they just fit really really snug the length which is usually an issue for me because they're if they fit me on the waist they will always be too long even the length is perfect i don't know what kind of wizardry this is but i've done it i found a staple pair of jeans that fit me. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about it. I actually really like these jeans. Jeans, in my opinion, are something that everybody needs in their wardrobe. And right now, I just don't have that because I don't have any that fit me properly. And now I do. I am gonna be living in these for the entire autumn, winter season. Thank you, Zara. Not so much a staple, but very cute i'm still living in my crochet girl summer moment i picked up this two piece so we've got the cream crochet skirt and this little bralette as well oh. now if i could wear crochet every summer for the rest of my life i'm adamant that i would i don't think that i shop too like based on trends but when i do if it's something that I love, I don't stop wearing it when it goes out of trend. So, I mean, everything I've bought this summer that's crochet, I'll probably keep for next summer and the summer after that and the summer after that. And this bralette is just so timeless, in my opinion. I'm gonna consider it a staple. Like, I am gonna keep this and I am gonna wear it for a long, long time. I think I'm holding it upside down, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's right. The thing I'm always really sceptical about with crochet is I feel like it is quite see-through. There have been a couple of times that I've accidentally flashed when I'm wearing crochet, either to shoot content in or when I've been wearing it on holidays. But this one, the little flower appliques that you've got over it completely cover everything, which I absolutely love about this because I just know that I'll feel so safe and secure. <laughs> And I won't have to worry about flashing everybody when I go out. But like, this is a really nice cardboard, but it's also something that you can wear multiple different ways. I am not actually being funny, but I feel like a princess. This, I think, hands down, is one of the nicest outfits that I've ever tried on in my entire life. I'm obsessed with the bralette. I have zero faults at all. Um, 100% stay in. The skirt, I love it because it goes with the bralette. I'm just, I'm not so sure that I'm in love with. It is a bit floaty at the, 
I feel like a hula girl. <laughs> it's just a bit floaty at the bottom and I would kind of like to get it taken in but I think with crochet you kind of can't. You'd have to find like a wicked seamstress. You'd have to find someone who's incredibly good at their craft. I don't know because I love the outfit as a whole but I just I wish the skirt was a bit more fitted. That is my that's my only criticism. You can't really get the top without the skirt can you? I just I don't think I've ever felt more mig in an outfit before. I think she's the star of the show. She's absolutely my favourite of the haul. We have to pick one every video and this is definitely this one. I'm actually a bit pissed off with myself because I went out last night to shoot content with my boyfriend and you know when you're just having one of those days where your hair looks really good, your makeup has gone on stunning. I only had two outfits to shoot and I kept saying to him like I want I want a third, you know, while I'm in my creative element, just let me churn out as much content as possible. But I couldn't find anything and I completely and utterly forgot that I had this in this haul. And the sun was out, everything looked good. Like, all of my content that I've taken over this weekend has gone really, really well. And now I'm so annoyed that I didn't take this with me. I feel like this would look better in Greece or Spain or wherever I decide to go than it would in Birmingham. So I'm rambling, we're keeping this. <laughs> Finally, while we're on the theme of crochet, I have also picked up this really cute little crochet bralette. This one is an actual bra. Again, so we've got the secureness of not flashing everybody when we wear this piece. I can see myself wearing this years into my 30s. You can just wear this in so many different ways. This doesn't even have to be just for holiday. Definitely wear this out in the UK, like 100%. This is the crochet bralette on. Um, there were a lot of things in my head that I was planning to style this with, but I can't get into my skirt drawer properly because of where my tripod is. If I move the tripod, it knocks everything all out of whack. Just paired it with this black skirt that was at the front of the drawer. I actually really like this as an outfit and this wasn't what I was planning at all. I think with black, your possibilities are endless. You can pair it with literally any colour and create 73 million different outfits. But black on black, you just can't go wrong. I picked up the bralette in a small um it was a little bit of a struggle to get on i think it took me about two minutes to get it on because it is so tight no zip it's not like a lace at one or anything at the back you literally just i mean you could pull it over your head but i pull all of my tops from bottom up i don't know why but i just do but yeah once it's on it's a lovely fit a little bit of a struggle but it's a lovely fit i think this is going to be another outfit that i end up taking on my second holiday of the year i've not even booked the actual holiday yet it's all like completely and utterly hypothetical i'm already planning outfits for it love that this bralette is definitely staying i'm sure you guys will see this for years to come on all of my socials because i love it oh last thing so I got a perfume tester in this order. So this is Memorable Aura. Um, I have used three quarters of the bottle already. This is one of the most beautiful perfumes I've ever smelled in my entire life. And trust me, I have quite the collection. On the card, if this helps anybody out, it says a bright bouquet tinted with the colorful juiciness of mango for a pure explosion of joy. It's a very summery, fruity fragrance. I'm actually going to go and order this because whenever I see that Zara have new perfumes, I always get really excited. But I hate ordering perfumes online just based on the top notes because I just don't, I don't trust it. Whenever I go into store to try and smell the new ones, there's always like a massive queue. And I don't want to stand in the queue to just go and smell perfumes or I do stand in the queue to go and smell perfumes and they haven't got the new ones that I want to try. Not anything like me. Memorable aura. It's beautiful. If you stayed till the end, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you know, you've managed to get some inspo from these staple pieces and hopefully I haven't cost your bank accounts too much. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.